Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at one hidden class that is present in Laravel, which we can easily use in our project. And the class name is Fluent. Let me show you that class first. If we go here inside the vendor, we also have some class that is written in the documentation like Illuminate Support ARR, that ARR class and str class laravel also has some other classes but they are not documented let me show you one of the classes so here inside the vendor if we just go here in the laravel framework src illuminate and inside the support folder okay here we have this fluent php class using this fluent class we can easily manipulate and use php's array and objects so let me show you what i mean Okay, suppose let's say I have an array over here. A is one and B is two like this. And suppose let's say we have passed this data to some methods and we are trying to access, let's say the C property in A, dollar A and C, or let me just call it as data here. And instead of A, I'll call it data like this. Okay, now here, if I try to call C, then it will throw an error. So let me just reload over here then we can see here undefined array key C. But when we use the fluent class, then we'll not get this issue. We'll get null instead of C. And we have many other more features inside the fluent class. So here, in case of data, we'll just say here, fluent new fluent, and it is illuminate support fluent. And you can see here it is being imported over here, okay? Now here, so I'll just pass the data over here like this. And instead of data, I'll just call fluent. And if we look inside this fluent, so here it is implementing this arrayable, array access, JSONable, JSON serializable. So since it is using this arrayable and array access, we can easily access this as an array. So here I am trying to access C. And if I just refresh, then I will get null over here. But if I just do here A, then I'll get one. So you can see here but we don't need to access it like array. We can even access it like properties in an object. So here, just if I reload, then I'm getting one. And if I just do here B and I'll get two over here, which means that we can easily access it as array or as an object. Also somewhere, let's say we have used this PSP object like this, but let's say we have passed this somewhere down the method and we are trying to access it as an array. So I'll just say data like this and A, like this, then whenever we try to access an object like an array, then it will also throw an error. So you can see here, cannot use object of type SCD class as an array, it will throw an error. But now if I just comment it out and just pass that data, which is an object to this fluent, then it will automatically convert this object into an array internally. If you just look here inside the fluent, it is just looping through those attributes and converting into an array. And we can easily access here like this let's say a here and if i just reload over here then i'll easily get this one so there will not be any issue and not only this we can also set values so i'll say fluent t equals to three like this then also it will work and we have this two array method over here using this method we'll just get the array okay so here now we'll get all a b and c since we were setting this c like this and we can also do like this fluent and d like this equals to four then also it will work you can see here similarly we can also use on set everything that we can use in an array we can use it over here so i'll just say dollar fluent and d i'll just on set the d which means that the d will not be available inside the array you can see here it is removed and you can not only set the keys and values like this, there is another way also, which is a fluent way. As the name is fluent, we have a fluent way of setting data to this array. So I'll just say here, let's say name, let's say Lara tips and let's say email, let's say, and let's say is like this. Whenever we do it like this, it will set Lara tips value to the key name. Similarly, this value to the key email and similarly as, and also let's say if we don't pass anything as the parameter like this. So let's say is admin like this, then it will set it as a true. Now here we'll get a, b, name, email, is and is admin as key and value as respectively this. 
So if I come here and refresh, then you can see here, all these values are automatically set. So when we use Fluent class, then we'll not face every errors that I have shown you before. And I have just known about it recently and I'm definitely gonna use everywhere where I have used arrays. And definitely don't forget to give your thought on this class. Thank you for watching, have a great day, bye.